Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen with another live coding session. So if you are into Go and you love a good challenge, stick around because today we are diving uh, into enchanting string manipulation problem from LeetCode repeated substring pattern. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and join our coding adventure. So our mission today is quite a classic, but always intriguing. We are given a string and uh, we got to figure out uh, if it's formed by repeating a certain substring multiple times. So sounds simple, right? But their devil uh, state in the details. So for instance, uh, think about the string a, b, a, b. So we are given uh, a, b, a, b, and uh, it's clear and uh, in daylight that it just a, b repeated. So a, b uh, twice. So uh, twice will be a, b and a, b, and this is a substring. But what about uh, a, b, a? So no repeated substring there. And if we uh, try, for example, uh, a or a, b, uh, so it will not form our a, b, a. Uh, yeah, and uh, you can see it. And so we output here false and here we output uh, true. Yeah, true. So now when we understand the problem, uh, let's dive into implementation. We are going to solve it uh, using two approaches, one straightforward and one more uh, elegant. So, all right, uh, let's jump into first solution. A straightforward approach could be looping through possible substring and checking for repetition. So we'll start by getting the length of our string and then a uh, trick here is to iterate only up to half of the string length uh, and anything beyond that. And it's impossible for any substring to form the original uh, string. So let's implement it and will be len s and for i one less than n divided by two increment and if modulo i zero substring will be s to i and builder string builder for j zero j less and divided by i j increment and builder write string substring and if builder string is s return true and if we iterate to the half return false uh, as simple as this for uh, each length uh, if our main string length is divisible by it we create our substring and instead of usual uh, concatenation we are going to use go string builder for more efficiency. So uh, let's run uh, our code for test cases. Yeah, all good. So now we can submit to verify uh, it's also working for unseen test cases. And as you can see, our implementation, it's not very fast. So we beat just 70% with respect to memory and also 24% with respect to runtime. And the core idea behind this approach is to find the smallest uh, piece of our string and check if repeating it can uh, recreate our original string. A bit like finding the smallest building block and seeing if it makes up the whole structure. And now let's dive into approach two. So uh, now hold uh, your hearts. We are about to explore a slicky method. So imagine solving this in just a couple of lines of code, exactly two. So uh, the trick, double up the string and look uh, for the original string within it. And if uh, found, we got our repeating substring. And yeah, so this will be the uh, elegant and efficient implementation. So double S plus S and return string contains doublet one len doublet minus one 
and compare it with S. And let's run it. Just two lines of code. And will it work? Yeah, it's working for uh, our given test case. So now let's run it for unseen test cases to compare with approach one. So as you can see, our uh, implementation now is much faster. So uh, we beat 77% uh, with respect to runtime and also 67 with uh, respect to memory. So uh, as you can see, it's a quite significant improvement over the uh, first approach. So I'm running it one more time. So as you can see, it's quite uh, yeah, constant. So five, uh, six milliseconds. I think I have even a better score before, but uh, yeah, we can rerun. So yeah, it's probably differences or something. Now it's two milliseconds. So really fast and faster than approach uh, one. And this second approach is a bit magical. So uh, isn't it? By doubling the string and searching inside, we are cleverly checking all potential uh, repeating combination without resorting to uh, complex loops. So uh, it's a tricky idea, but uh, quite efficient and elegant. And now, uh, if Go isn't your uh, only love, <laughs> I got you covered. So uh, head up to the description below for implementation in Python, Rust, C++, and more, and dive deep, compare, contrast, and elevate your coding game. And that's a wrap up for today's session. If you had uh, any aha moment or just enjoyed coding along, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts, question, or your uh, own solution in the comments, and let's keep this community buzzing with ideas and innovation, and until next time, keep practicing and happy coding.